Hey guys, it's Luke83 here, and tonight I'm going to take you through how to use PCK View. It's a pretty basic program, but I'll take you through the process of exporting a sprite out, modifying it, running it through uh, Urfan, Urfan View, I think that's how you say it, and bringing it back in again, um, just so you've seen the whole process. So right now, my website under How To PCK Views, you can still see I've currently got the old version here. This is the Shiva's version. The new one is part of Map View 2. Um, basically it does all the same stuff as the original one that's listed here in the explanation here except the new one exports it out to a PNG format and not the old GIF file. So to get the new version head on over to this link here which will bring you to the OpenXCOM tools directory and jump down to this guy here and find the newest install for now it is the uh, 24th of October 2019 which was yesterday. Click on the link here get your download and go. Okay, I've already got it downloaded and I've actually got it installed so I'm going to delete that so you can see the process. I'm just going to export this guy out. There he is there. Okay, so there's PCK view which is part of map view. Now take note, there's no settings folder here. If I open this guy up without a settings folder you'll get two errors as you'll see. Can't find this file because you haven't made it yet can't find this file because you haven't made it yet. Now they're normally made when you open map view. So as you can see it still opens up it just has a bit of a cry to start with. So I'm just going to delete this again. Oh, as you can see it's made one file. I'm just going to delete that out. I'm going to open uh, map view up first just to populate everything. So I'm just going to point to where my UFO directory is. This is the original game data and if you have it Terror from the Deep and remember E equals MC squared. Okay, I now have my map view working. As you can see, look at that. Nice and pretty, but that's a video for another day. Now I've run that. I now have a settings folder set up with some basic data. If you have another map view install, you can drop your new settings in here. And it's usually this guy. Oops, sorry. It's usually this guy you play with a lot when you're adding new maps in with this nice easy syntax unlike the old version. Anyway, so now that's there I can jump into PCK view. This is really straightforward. I just go file open. It's pointing to my directory I told it to go to. First we could look at terrain. Just gonna pause here for a second guys. Sorry about that. I was just gonna go to the terrain folder and find a nice easy map that I want to modify like Mars. As you can see here, it's brought me in here. I can double click, I can get a close up view of what it is. I've got some options if I right click where I can bring other ones in and resequence it. Honestly, it's a hell of a lot easier doing all that in um, MCD Edit. Don't do it here. Just use this program to switch between the palettes. So, this is a UFO one, but if it was a Terra from the Deep Battlescape, you know, the colors would look more like this. Uh, you can also switch to palette sets that aren't quite right, which I really don't recommend doing. But anyway, it's in UFO palette. I'm going to export this out. So that was export sprite sheet in case I was too quick. File, export sprite sheet, or F5. I'm going to put it somewhere I can find it. Terra from the deep, quick and dirty, it sounds like me. Okay, let's chuck him to the side. Chuck him to the side. Get rid of whatever that error is. There he is there, he's exported me out a PNG file. First thing I'm going to do is jump into trusty old paint. As you can see here I've got a lovely white background, which we're going to get rid of. I'm going to type like 500 in here and it'll tell me that, oh no, the color is 255. Yep, beautiful, and there's all my hues and saturations and all the other crap. Anyway, I've got that color, let's turn the background. Nice green so I can see what the hell's going on because seeing white things on a white background is impossible. So file save. So I modified that guy quickly. Now it looks like this. One thing to be aware of, since I've modified it with paint, it has now converted it. So let me just find this file here. This is Urfan Urfan View. Fantastic program. But look, it now says it's a 32 byte program. No good to us. That's fine for now. We're going to do some editing before we bring it in. I'm just going to open that up in good old fashioned GIMP. Don't worry about the orange guys. Nothing to see here. File open. There's that Mars pack. 
and this is why I go into GIMP and it is honestly the only reason I use GIMP anymore other than the wise I'm upset to use this as a sprite I think it's how it said fantastic little program let's get rid of this guy uh, you shouldn't see that anyway so the reason I go into GIMP I'm just going to make sure this is in RGB mode which it is which is cool since it's is it, since it's in RGB, I can load up this color exchanger and go, hey, whenever you find, I don't know, that color. So pause a second, guys. Sorry about that. One of my dogs decided to escape. Okay, so, yep, I'm switching this yellow to, yeah, let's, let's do blue. Let's do the bright blue. As you can see, it's now starting to modify my picture. So color, map, color exchange. Grab from, I don't know, this color here. A few windows overlapping is always annoying. To the second blue in the list. Get over there. And we'll do one more. So color, map, color exchange. And let's grab. I don't know, let's grab over this one, just a random one. And we'll make it the third blue. So now we have our professionally modified sprite set, which we want to use in game because, for whatever reason, we think that looks good. Okay, so file. Let's export that back out. I'm going to give it a name called Mars. Mars ruined. And we'll call it two because I've already got a Mars Room one. Export that out again. Get rid of again. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Okay, so there's my new file there. So we're gonna jump back into Earth and view that. As you can see, if I click on the original guy, he's 32 megabytes because I modified him. They need to be eight. This one's the same because I modified it. So I'm gonna open up the one I just made nice and blue because blue looks wonderful. I'm going to go image, palette, can you see that on the screen? Probably not. Image, palette, import palette. Now I'm in open XCOM extended, common, palettes, UFO-JASC-safe. Now the safe is because we made the background green. So find the Battlescape version because I'm modifying Battlescape sprites. Click on open. It's now converted to 8 and it's now 100% sure it's the correct uh, palettes for UFO. So I'm just going to call that Rule 2A. Okay, so now I have an underscore 2, which is absolutely wrong, and 2A, which is correct. So grab this guy again, PCK view. I'm going to try to bring in the wrong one first. I'm going to go import underscore 2, which will throw an error because I didn't fix the, uh, the size of the colors. So Data to, uh, detected incorrect dimensions and or pixel format. Cool. That's because I hadn't fixed it with Earthfan View. Let's try again with the other file. Oh, happy days. We now have our sexy, sexy blue, blue Mars sprites, which I'm sure everyone's going to want to put in their mods because they are just that good. Anyway, we now have them. We need to export them out, so we're going to go save as. We need to get them back to this PCK format, so. I'm just going to call this Mars Ruined 2. And I'm going to save that into my terrains folder. Just come over here. Uh, so, UFO, terrain. There's Mars Ruined 2. Now you can see it's only made two files. It's made a PCK file which has the sprites and a tab file which does the spacing on the sprites, I think. I'm sure someone will correct me. I need the MCD data for Mars, so. I'm so I'm just going to rename that to, to match the two new files I made at the top. So underscore R U I N D underscore two. So now I have one, two, three. That is a full sprite set for map building. Let's just uh, open it up so you can see that it actually all worked. Do, 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 do. 
I go there. Uh, documents. So I've got two different versions of OXC on here. This is my everything's all messy modding area, and the other one is it's almost ready to go live. Let's keep it neat. So I'm just going to go repoint this to my nice and neat version, which is in here. Yeah. There. Terrain. Mars Ruin 2. So there you go. There is your. Mars Ruined sprite set that you want to use in a map because you think it looks great. Okay, so that's tiles. Excuse me. Uh, let's also have a quick look at units. Units, units, units. Uh, same process. There's a sprite sheet. Export it out to wherever you want. Where's my quick and dirty? There, quick and dirty, which I just move quick and dirty, and that's just exported out the floater sheet for me. Once again, if I'm going to modify it, do the first step, make the background green. So go in here, color 255. I normally just type 500, but hey, I'm special. You do that, you can zoom in, make sure you don't miss any little bits and pieces like that should be see-through, that should be see-through, I missed one. Got it again. See-through, 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 whatever. And then you can save it out, modify it now. Being sprites, for units, you don't need to bring them back into PCK because OXC supports them directly. So from a PNG format also, I think it still works for GIFs, but everything's in PNG now, just go with that. Uh, the other thing in here is big obs, and last time I tried this, it blew off my face, so let's just see if it's been fixed, otherwise I can report it again. Big obs. Oh, look at that, it works. I've still been using Bomb Blokes Toolkit for this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Good job, Kev. Um, since we're getting adventurous, let's open the Skang Data, because this is the one thing I've never touched. Honestly, don't even know where it's saved. No, that would make sense. Um, giraffes, maybe? That's textures. Oh, they're cool. I have no idea what they are, but they look really good in here. <sighs> oh, that might actually be my scan daughter, is it? No, it can't be. Don't know what that is. But it opened it. I'm impressed. Skang, there we go. There's your Skang daughters. First time I've ever looked at that. I need to do this for all my maps, and I have done none in eight years. So, if you're using one of my maps, do not look at your mini map. It just, it's not pretty. But anyway, I'll get to that. So that is PCK view. It's also a crash course on Urfan view. Um, if you're doing spriting, you can use GIMP, especially for the recoloring, but Besides that, don't use it. I like to use a sprite now, just to learn how to use it. As you can see, it makes it pretty straightforward to edit models and jump between stuff. And yeah, if you have any questions, basically uh, hit me up on the old website or uh, shoot me an email on the Discord channels. Yeah, before I finish this weekend, I will update. Where is it? I'll update this with all the new information, but I'll keep a link for this old uh, Deshiva's version in case someone has a Windows 98 version they want to run and use the old version, for whatever reason. So I'll keep it there in the background, but I'll update this main page to be the new one, which is part of Map View 2. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. It's enough for me for now. Thank you.